We've made science fiction or cartoons or whatever it is real. Technology does it every single day. The use of technology allows you to enjoy the universe. And I think that's the real connection of technology with my dream. NASA has a great website out there which talks about the, the Star Trek technology. You know, and they talk about how real or close we are to various pieces of it. The fact that we can even have that discussion is what makes technology fun. In the 1980s, personal computers first came into a person's household. 30 years later, we carry more computing power on our hip and in our smartphone than they had when they sent people to the moon back in 1969. It's amazing the progress, and it's not slowing. In fact, it's accelerating. Technology has opened up an incredible world of opportunity for everybody. And you can go into any industry, and at some level, you can use technology. We are a membership organization for technology companies in the Tampa Bay area. We did a study that identified there were 4,000 positions that could not be filled in the Tampa Bay region. Those positions that were filled were in the areas of Java development, .NET development, programmers, project managers, salespeople, sales engineers. And those who have the soft skills, they can combine business acumen along with uh, technology skills, they are going to be in demand for the next 50 years. My name is Andy Malovic. I am VP of Vendor Relations at Volage Inc. We're one of the fastest growing solutions providers of technology solutions in the nation. It's real important to work with data. It's um, it's crucial, and no matter what position, no, no matter what you are, if you're if you're a sales rep, uh, if you're out in if you're in the warehouse, if you're in product management, if you're in purchasing, data is driven everything because um, a lot of people make assumptions, and uh, without that that uh, supporting data then you could, you could make a real big mistake. This is a healthcare company, but it doesn't matter what company you go to. Every company needs those technology services. The combination of all that technology allows us to service our patients better and make sure they're safe and well taken care of. Our company deals in financial transactions. Every single one of those financial transactions happens in a computer um, somewhere in the world. We have to collect that data, we have to manage that data, we have to process that data, and then we report out on that data. Data accumulation needs people that understand how to sort the data and turn it from data into information. Technology users are the people that can really be skilled at those, those type of services and help a company grow and get better. Uh, my name is Scott Benneke. I'm a data analyst for the New York Yankees. Technology is a huge part of a lot of fields these days, and especially statistics. As far as us, we use statistical analysis for a few main things. One is the amateur draft, one is the international free agent market, and then one is also trades and free agent acquisitions at the big league level. At the time that I graduated from college, if someone had told me, you know, for the next foreseeable future, you will always have a job and it will always be a well-paying job, I would have gone into a technology field in a heartbeat. And the student now, they demand what they want. They say, you know what, I'm interested in that. I'm going to walk over here in business and I'm going to take a couple of courses. I'm going to get an understanding of how you analyze data in a business setting, I'm gonna get some business information, I'm gonna get some security, I'm gonna up my security understanding, and I'm gonna walk out with a bachelor's degree, and I'm gonna walk into a high paying job. The tech jobs, they're they're in demand right now. There's there's a there's a shortage of, of good technical candidates out there. We have been actively working with Kaiser University and other universities to help us um, provide the students and the uh, talent that are needed to fill those jobs. The teachers and the professors know what we're looking for. They have a better understanding of what we need, so not only are they teaching them better for that particular environment, they're actually providing us with feedback that is broader than he did great in this class. As those, you know, those, those IT departments continue to expand and new businesses continue to move into the Tampa Bay area, that's always going to offer more opportunities for somebody coming out of a school like Kaiser to you know, kind of get in and get your feet wet and you know, ultimately kind of work your way up the chain as well of any business. For anyone that's starting a new career in technology, I would absolutely tell them to get internships, get experience with local companies, get exposed to the number of companies that are here. You know, we look for local talent as much as possible. That's, that's the objective and the primary focus for how we would hire. There's a lot of opportunity for technology positions, especially in my area. We need data analysis. I'm Cherie Tabor, and I'm a management consultant. <laughs>
So I'm very fortunate in that I get to work from my home office as often as I'm uh, as I'm able to. From working on projects, I throw projects up on the wall, and um, and when I when I have to meet with clients, uh, if I bring the clients into into the Tampa Bay area, where we have the, the wonderful ability to meet right here, and uh, anyone who's not from Florida is incredibly impressed and entertained by the boats that are coming in and out of here and the beautiful sunsets. If I'm not working here from home, I am usually traveling to a client and uh, I have the ability to travel anywhere in the world to work. And so with the with technology and a telephone, the world is my office and I'm very fortunate with that. After you graduate, Tampa Bay is a perfect place to start your career. Tampa Bay is really an area of innovation. There's a great number of companies that are growing here and relocating here. You have a broadening region around Tampa that's growing up to support Tampa. The educational system here is now starting to get very serious about teaching high-tech jobs. Our efforts to making sure that we have the IT talent needed in this region are paramount to having these technology companies grow to have companies grow. I think in the next five years, we can double the technology uh, jobs that are out there. It's going to be necessary to compete with the top markets out there so that we can keep jobs locally. If I was going to advise any student or even my own children or parents that have children that are considering careers, I would absolutely push them towards a technology field. And I think the most important thing is really understanding how to get a degree that's going to last you into the future, that has a lifetime return, and technology and the many emerging areas of technology have a lifetime return on your investment of time and money. So in the next five years, if I do my job right, then we'll have plenty of talent for these companies and they will grow and do very, very well.